As always, I find the easiest way to answer such a question is to draw the finite state machine. We come in in state one, and on A, we go to state two, and on B, we go to state three. And then from state two on C, we go to four, and uh, state three on D, we go to five. And uh, five on E goes back to two, and five on F goes to state six, and five on G goes all the way back here to one, and our only accepting state is six. Well, how can we get to state six? If we go up here to the right, this is like the place of no return. We go here, and then there's no way to ever get back down or get to six. So we don't want to go to four. We don't want to get to two. How about instead if we go one, three, five, six, or B, D, F? But now I need to give another string that's different, but that's also accepted. Well, one way to do that would be to take this whoop, go to start back loop here, pass go, start again, one, three, five, one, three, five, six, so B, D, G, B, D, F. Those are two strings that are both accepted, but that are different. And if you are feeling exotic, you could actually have gone around these loops more times. You can add B, D, G, B, D, G, B, D, G at the beginning as often as you'd like and make longer and longer strings.